If you entered but didn't win, we've got more great contests coming up. In fact, soon I'll have details on how you can win a motorcycle courtesy of Judas Priest on the only show with Teeth Metal Shop. Hey, headbangers, check this out. Metal Shop and the folks from Judas Priest want to give you a chance to head on down the highway on your own motorcycle. That's right, we've got a Honda Rebel motorcycle to give away to one lucky winner. A real metal machine, if you know what I mean. All you have to do to enter is send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number, plus a number of tracks on the brand new Priest Live album. Send it to Metal Machine, care of MJI Broadcasting, 666 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York, 10103. Once again, that's a postcard with your name, address, phone number, and the number of cuts on Priest Live to Metal Machine. Care of MJI Broadcasting, 666 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York, 10103. Ten first runners-up will receive a special limited edition Priest Live copper CD. Ten second runners-up walk away with a new Priest Live video. And 33rd runners-up win an autographed copy of the Priest Live LP. The deadline for entering is July 3rd. Rob Halford will personally call the grand prize winner and will announce the winner on Metal Shop the week of July 22nd. Go for it. We'll be back. Tonight, another Metal Shop special. Rob Halford of Judas Priest talks about Priest Live, the group's new double live album, CD, and video project. We'll have an entire hour of words by Halford and music by the Priest. We recommend that you turn the lights off and get yourself in a concert frame of mind. It's just an insane trip with the Priest, you know. Tonight, in a feature interview, we'll take a look at the personal side of Judas Priest. A distant rock star that doesn't have the time of day for the person that put them in that position. I think that's disgusting. Next week on Metal Shop, the blonde half of Judas Priest guitar tandem K.K. Downing tells you what's shaken with the Priest in the feature interview. I never get true answers, but I never tell no lies. Oddly enough, was written by folk singer Joan Baez. Rob Halford told Metal Shop why the priest chose to record Diamonds and Rust. Initially, it was just an interesting project. The first song we heard, that, which of course was when we were still with our very first record company. We were making Sad Wings of Destiny at the time, and someone came forward with a suggestion and put the record onto the turntable, and we just went into complete hysterics to think that anyone was being the least bit serious about taking this warbling folk singer and an acoustic guitar and turning into a heavy metal song. But uh, once we got over the hysteria, we realized that it was a very, very good song, you know, and we've always maintained that a song that is good has the ability to be adapted, you know, to be versatile and changed into various different forms. And hence, uh, we recorded Diamonds and Rust. Diamonds and Rust from Judas Priest 1977 LP, Sin After Sin, tonight's master classic. Hi, this is Rob Halford, the Beast from Judas Priest. And Rob Halford of Judas Priest has a master classic for you. Get ready to be rocked to the limit. Hi, this is Rob Halford from Judas Priest, and I'll be coming to you on The Metal Shop. 95X Home Rock and Roll, request hour, and a full hour non-stop rock. I could have sworn that guy said he wanted to hear the Hellion and Electric Eye. Or was that what I wanted to hear? Rob Halford of Judas Priest has the answer to a listener's question. Hi everyone, this is Rob Halford from Judas Priest. When the invasion returns, Rob Halford has the answer to an audience question. Let's open a letter from the Metal Shop mailbag and ask the stars. Tracy Tobias, who listens to Metal Shop's newest affiliate, 103 SHE in Miami, asks Rob Halford of Judas Priest, if he wasn't a rock star, what would he be doing instead? Here's Rob. I think if I were not a rock star, I would somehow be involved in show business. I've said countless times that I've always had a very strong desire to do something in the acting profession. Whether or not that'll manifest itself in the, the oncoming years, I don't know. I suppose if you'd have, you know, if you'd have asked me even when I was like nine or ten years of age what I wanted to do, I would have said even then that it would have been something to do with the world of show business. From a very, very early recollection, I used to be glued to the television. So uh, I'm pretty sure that that's the way it was meant to be. From British Steel, that's Judas Priest with Breaking the Law. By the way, the next Priest album is going to be a double live LP recorded this year in Houston, Texas on a Turbo Tour. 
Hi everyone, this is KK Downing of Judas Priest and this is 95X, so turn it up. Hi everyone, this is KK Downing of Judas Priest here. Metal Shop's most valuable metal of the week is coming up next. Don't go away. Tonight on Metal Shop's feature interview, Judas Priest K.K. Downing looks back on the group's early days. We never grew up sort of with flowers in our hair or silver spoons in our mouths. <laughs> and forward to their upcoming double live album. We feel a live album should be put on when you feel like energy and excitement, you know, is necessary and needed. And K.K. Downing talks about the priest then and now. Hip of Judas Priest, and this is 95X, so turn it up. Tonight's feature interview is the blonde half of Judas Priest guitar tandem, K.K. Downing. And K.K.'s got some big news for you Priest fans. We've just finished off a double live album, which we're really over the moon about because it's got 15 songs on there. And the whole thing is devoted to all the fans that have stayed with the band for all these years. Metal Shop asked KK to compare the upcoming album to Priest's first live LP, Unleashed in the East. We were very, very pleased with that record because we felt it was exciting all the way through and there wasn't any ballads on there. And the same with this, really, so I suppose it is very similar to Unleashed in the East. Obviously, there's different songs on there. It's very, very exciting from beginning to end, and that's what we wanted to do. We didn't want to slow it down at all, like Unleashed in the East. We feel a live album should be put on when you feel like energy and excitement, you know, is necessary and needed. So in that respect, it's the same as Unleashed in the East. But all I can say is that it sounds obviously much more modern, it's much more better recorded. Whereas if you put on Unleashed in the East on now, it sounds a little bit dated, obviously, because it's like five or six years old. The Priest with Exciter from their first live album, Unleashed in the East. And by the way, the release date for the new Judas Priest live set is June 4th. Now, Judas Priest have never really been known for their love songs. In fact, I bet you'd have a tough time naming more than one or two. K.K. Downing told Metal Shop that a lot of the reason for that has to do with where the group came from. It was all down to a sign of the times. Because we were never a, a very happy bunch of lads, you know, as you've probably <laughs> gathered. We never grew up sort of with flowers in our hair <laughs> or silver spoons in our mouths. <laughs> we grew up in this really dark atmosphere, you know. Um, coming from relatively poor backgrounds and that, we didn't grow up thinking about love and wanting to write songs about love because we wasn't really experiencing any at the time, you know. In recent years, we've took a lot of so-called flack from the media, you know, from people saying, oh, this is a bad band, they're bad people, and stuff like that. But really, we were just kids growing up, and um, it was just the way that we felt at the time. It just all happened because we all got together and all felt the same about life and our present-day situation as it was at the time.